I went to Whitley Bay Sixth Form and now I'm studying French and Spanish at Sheffield. I went to Whitley Bay Sixth Form and I'm now studying Natural Sciences at Cambridge. I went to Whitley Bay High School Sixth Form and I'm now doing English at Newcastle University. I went to Whitley Bay High School and now I'm studying French and Linguistics at the University of York. I went to Whitley Bay High School Sixth Form and now I'm doing Medicine at Newcastle University. I went to Whitley Bay High School Sixth Form and now I'm studying Law in my second year at Durham University. I decided to go into the sixth form at Whitley Bay High School because I went through the school from year nine and it seemed like the obvious thing for me to do. It's close to home and I was really comfortable in the school. I went to Marden High School originally and I came here. It was a decision really between here, Time Met and St Thomas Moore. And I came here because A, most of my mates were going here, so I thought I'd stay with them. And uh, I ruled out Time Met as well because I thought staying in the sixth form would be, uh, I know, I'd, I just sort of, quite like the sort of school environment for a sort of learning environment. I think there is something distinctive about a school sixth form and I think there's something particularly distinctive about a school sixth form in a school which takes in students in year nine. The sixth form here really defines the whole ethos of the school. Students coming in in year nine see 600 uh, highly motivated, highly successful, very committed students setting the tone for the school and that has an immediate impact and I think as students progress through years 9, 10 and 11, they aspire to matching the, the, the very role models that they're seeing every day. I wanted to go to the sixth form because I wanted to get some good A-levels so I could go to a good university and also I enjoyed my time in the high school so I thought it would be a good continuation of that. I decided to go to sixth form here because um, all my friends were going and it offered the A-levels that I wanted to do so I never really considered going to college, it just seemed like the natural thing just to carry on and go through to sixth form. I think that uh, their enthusiasm, the teacher's enthusiasm, spurred me on to want to do the subjects that I'd chosen to do. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed studying English uh, in the lower school uh, and I had always had uh, an outside interest in that subject. Um, but because the teachers had um, such uh, enthusiasm and interest themselves, I felt that uh, I wanted to prolong my study of that subject. The life that you have uh, in sixth form is completely different to the life that you have in the lower school. You are treated more like uh, an adult, you're allowed to wear your own uh, clothes, you, you're not having to wear a uniform um, and also um, although you are given a homework diary, um, it isn't quite um, as structured as it was in the lower school. You are left to your own devices and to be more um, independent. It's a step towards independence in a way, although uh, you, are, you do have teachers on your back sort of making sure you get work in but not so much it is more down to you and that's I guess that's sort of bridging the gap to university although it has to be said at Cambridge I do get a I have my uh, supervisors on my back so uh, it's not really all that much different. Our sixth form is very big and it's distinctively big it almost offers the best of both worlds it is very, very similar in size to many sixth form colleges, but it is part of a main school. And that, I think, is, is one uh, very unusual feature of it. You won't find that in many school sixth forms. Why does big matter? Well, it allows us to offer a fabulously rich curriculum. We can sustain a huge range of different courses, which is very difficult in uh, small school sixth forms. Another reason why big is important is because it offers a, a wealth of opportunity for students outside their, their classroom um, and that's really important because that's what universities and employers are looking for. Universities and employers are looking for things like leadership, examples of leadership, they're looking for communication skills, they're looking for breadth and the very best students are the ones who manage to lead very busy lives where they do do a lot of academic work but they also do a lot of other things as well. We're increasingly appointing young graduates who are not necessarily certain that they want to teach but who want to work with students and um, whilst we don't go out deliberately to recruit people who have worked here we've made some really fantastic appointments of people who are able to reflect on how the school helped them 
and then translate that into how they're now helping the next generation of students come through. I went to Whitley Bay High School sixth form in 2001 to 2003 um, and then I went on to do French studies at the University of Nottingham um, and I returned to Whitley Bay High School to work in 2007 uh, after I graduated. I work as sixth form guidance and support assistant uh, in the sixth form office um, which means that I work with students on a daily basis um, often on a one-to-one -one, like sort of basis uh, helping them with things like organizational support, um, improving their time management, careers advice, um, I support them with uh, writing their personal statements for their UCAS applications. You realize that as a student you're not fully aware of some of the the support that's there until you come back and you see just how much teachers and staff do to sort of help and support the students on a daily basis. So it's quite nice in that sense um, because it, it helps you appreciate it a lot more even if it is a couple of years later. I went to Whitley Bay High School sixth form and then I went to Leeds University to study modern Chinese studies and then I came back and began working in the library here. I wouldn't have applied for the job I don't think as a librarian anywhere else. Um, it's this school is exactly how I remember it, a vibrant, uh, really positive working environment um, for both staff and students and I wanted to be a part of that and I wanted to enjoy my job, which I do. I went to St Thomas More School, um, then I went to Bath to study German and now I'm here as a work credit learning and enterprise assistant. I think everyone's treated as an equal, it doesn't matter what your role is in the school, um, both staff and students, whether you're, you're sort of year 9, year 13 or whether you're support staff or um, leadership, everyone's treated equally and everyone, what everyone has to say is important and everyone's opinion is taken into account when decisions are made and I think that really adds to the atmosphere. You're not just expected to be um, academically able or anything like that to get into sixth form, you have to be willing to be an all-rounder and give something back to the school life. Students are encouraged actively to get involved in extracurricular activities and we want people like that in the sixth form to really carry on this atmosphere and community feel in the school. The school develops well-rounded people, it encourages activities in all areas uh, for kids to do. I mean, you don't have to be sporty or musical, there's craft club, uh, there's drama if you like that. They encourage people to get involved in what they love and if there's a club not there, they'll, there'll be someone who'll start it up. I had my music lessons here um, from a peripatetic teacher, so I got to continue those as well, but it's the extracurricular things that we do it at the school, uh, they do them still now, there's like an orchestra, they do a musical every year, uh, there's choirs, lots of different things so I was able to continue doing those and I still do them now so it's an enjoyment and a hobby that I've got to keep on doing as part of my work as well. In sixth form I got involved in quite a bit of charity work, we were allowed to in a f one free lesson a week go and do work, I did some in um, a local special school and that was good for my UCAS form and also just a bit different, something to do during school time but that wasn't in lessons and it's definitely something useful and I've kind of gone on to do similar things at university so it was a good starting ground for that. There is no excuse to come into the sixth form here and be bored, there's no excuse to feel at the end of year 13 that you've had limited opportunities. The opportunities are there, but again, it's important to emphasize that, that many of these are opportunities which are created by the sixth form students themselves. The charity committee is a very good example of, of that. At the moment, it is operating at an enormously uh, successful level, and this has been you know, almost entirely generated by the students themselves. They've determined what they want to do, they've determined the charities they want to support, they've put the acti activities into place and they're running it. We're doing an Easter egg challenge in the Easter holidays for like children in the community. It's to raise money for a charity called Parkside Vision, which is a charity to create a centre for special needs children. Because um, one of our teachers has a son who's got special needs who's part of the group. Um, so we're having an Easter egg challenge, there's an, an Easter egg hunt and games and face painting and loads of stuff going on, so hopefully we'll get a lot of people and it'll be a nice day. There's loads of things you can do, I did the school show, I helped out on the speech festival, we had a speech competition a couple of weeks ago, um, obviously we all we all do the charity committee, there's there's just so, so much to choose from, people have just done mock trials and they won the national competition like there's so much to choose from there's not enough time to fit it all in really. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury please stand. I think at first it's a bit nerve-wracking but when you actually get into it it's quite good fun. 
Yeah, by the time we got to the final, I thought it was a bit of a laugh, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You two in your wigs and your gowns. Yeah. Yeah. I was on the prom committee and the fundraising committee. Um, apart from that, not that much. But I did some sorting activities during my lunch times and in the mornings. Uh, I was in the band for uh, quite a while, so uh, and this place was great for uh, helping nurture that. We shot a music video here and we played a couple of rock nights here. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. My main extracurricular activity is I'm a sound tech for my college because we, my college is quite active in the whole. Uh, we put on every Friday night a uh, drum and bass night in the in the cellars. So uh, I'm a, I help set that up. Like I guess sort of shooting the music video and uh, being able to do all my music stuff has been incredibly helpful in sort of pushing me on and helping me continue to do it at uni. The range of activity that staff are engaged in with students outside the classroom is one of the things which is fundamental to what comes through every external audit of this school, relationships, positive relationships. Um, students really enjoy working here, they keep telling us that. And it's because of relationships that they really enjoy working here. And I mean, there are some fabulous colleges which offer great experiences, but I think that they very often have so little time with students in real time that it's difficult for them to develop quite the same rapport that we have here. I'd like to go to this sixth form because uh, it provides really good courses, um, exactly the things that I want to do, and I'm comfortable with the teachers because they're all... They're easy to get on with and they're really good teachers and uh, just because it's an outstanding school. I looked at other places, I looked at Newcastle College but they never had what I wanted to do. For instance, I wanted to do combined English and Monk Seaton didn't have that so that's why I decided to come here. Um, I do textiles, media studies, psychology and English language. Textiles and stuff wasn't offered at other schools anyway. Like I knew I wanted to do it but just chose to come here for it. <laughs> it's really friendly and the staff are always like helpful. They do like the taster sessions at the beginning so you don't feel awkward from a different school. They just make you feel like you're part of the school from the moment you get there. We have nearly 100 students coming into the sixth form every year now who have not come through Whitley Bay High School and, and this has been a fabulous development because it's really enriched the life of the school. We have students who've come in from a range of different experiences and who bring a range of different experiences with them. I didn't go to anywhere else to visit them. My sister came here and I just always knew I wanted to come here. First day. Without a word of a lie, first day. At least ten new friends. The yeah. whole class practically. That's something that I said on a you know on a video a long time ago. When I was a little bit younger. Um, but it's it's true because you, you know a lot of people from your school already, but then there are so many other schools that you then meet. Um, when you come here and everyone's excited about high school, you know, you're in the big school sort of thing. And even now, um, some of us are still friends, you know, still talk and go off to university and come back and we'll meet up. And I think, again, so it's just like a continual injection of new people into your life, which is sometimes it can be quite daunting, um, but I, I think it's healthy. It's, um, it's certainly brilliant for the making friends or, you know, I mean, adding friends to your group, as it were. Um, that's good. A very strong focus of our teaching is to move away from traditional um, note-taking in class, which is fundamentally a waste of time, to lots of creative debate, lots of very active problem solving, lots of very innovative, interactive work, um, where very often the teacher will take a back seat. And indeed one of the things I think you will find, and, and is frequently commented on, is that when I take people around the school and into classrooms, sometimes they say, which one's the teacher? And I think that that's exactly what we're, we're aspiring to do. They're trying to use dynamic teaching as well as just like lectures, which is you know, what you might get at university. And there's a lot of interaction, um, not only with teachers, with other students in your class, uh, field trips perhaps as well, um, visual aids, audio aids, and there's a lot of emphasis in here on finding the right way to learn for you. If you come to our sixth form, you will enjoy your time here, which is, which is paramount, uh, and you will hopefully, if you haven't already, develop a love for learning. Um, we devote a huge amount of time in our staff training to making lessons interactive, fun, uh, but still getting across the information, uh, and students will have a wonderful learning experience here in every classroom. Students end up getting where they want to be 
at the end of their time in our sixth form. In terms of university, over 80% of our students got their first choice university destination last year, which is a phenomenal figure, and it's down to them being great students, but also the advice and guidance they get here. It is a good social life at Newcastle. I think a lot of universities have that, but there's definitely a lot going on for students and there's always different things at the union, so there's lots to do. I really enjoy my university course, but the social life is very good as well. It's a lot of hard work. We did two years of lectures and then three years in hospital, but the parties make up for it. So. Obviously, uh, the nightlife is a, a very um, big factor uh, for Newcastle, um, but I think that at Newcastle University, they do, well, for in the English department anyway, they do um, try to make sure that you are uh, instilled into the academic course. That said, uh, the English Society, which I am a part of, um, does have uh, regular balls at Christmas time so, and during the summer as well, so you can celebrate uh, the hard work you've been putting in as well as, um, you know, spending time with university friends. that the enthusiasm that the teachers have uh, spurs on the students uh, to, to want to learn and I think that that is a paramount uh, in, a, in a learning environment. I think at other sixth forms and sixth form colleges there's not necessarily that atmosphere there, there's not the opportunity to get involved in lots of different things and there's not the amount of people who are willing to help you there. Working down from the top, filtering through all the different levels uh, of staff and then into the students as well, um, there's just a really good vibe of uh, opportunities and uh, feeling that people can do well here and they want it makes them want to do well. I definitely think I matured during sixth form and kind of going from school I would never have been ready to go on to university but it just kind of seemed more natural just to after sixth form it didn't seem as much of a jump going to university. I didn't particularly feel the shock when I went to university because I'd spent a year abroad um, and I had a lot of independence from that. Um, but I think school really builds you up for that and I benefited from my gap year from the school um, and I think the same would be said for if I went straight to university. They helped me through every stage of the process um, I couldn't I couldn't thank them enough um, when it came to it when I sat there after my exams after they pushed me through that barrier and I was you know, going off into the world to do law. <laughs> automatically a warm and friendly environment and the support that you get as a sixth former whether you've come from the lower school or you've come from outside um, is immense. There's people there for every aspect of your curricular life as well as beyond. It's not just support for your lessons, it's support on how to get to your lessons on time and how to get the most out of your lessons and the most out of your time here which I think can sometimes get lost in a college because they're generally bigger and it's people, lots of different people coming from all over and people cannot know each other whereas here it's like a, people slip in, there's people who've come from lower school who already know each other and then people come from outside and everyone just merges together and the people who are new uh, get, like get pulled in with the others and it's a really nice environment for them to automatically just feel part of and included in and I think that's why I'd recommend it. It's just, it's just lovely. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> it's just a really lovely place to be and I would I wouldn't recommend to go anywhere else. <laughs>